hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel i know i've been gone for a while and yeah we're probably going to discuss that in this video along with some other things because you guys know i am all over the place if you guys are new here make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and let's get into this video all right so we're going to start out with um some la girl pro precision pencil yes i have a broken nail mind your business i'm working on it um this is in the shade dark brown i'm going to use this to fill in my brows i don't know i kind of teeter totter back and forth between a dark brown and a black for my eyebrows I don't know because I can't really tell like sometimes I feel like the uh, black is like too dark but then the brown don't be dark enough so um, I didn't post like two weeks ago and the reason why is because my friend had a emergency and you know of course me being the friend that I am I had to be there for her and I'm the type of person like you may not hear from me every single day like I'm not that type of friend but um, when you need me and when it matters I don't care if we haven't talked in like six months like definitely gonna be there for you right and so she needed me and so unfortunately I had to just put it on the back burner now that particular weekend I did not record an actual video but I did record a vlog why the vlog is still not posted Child, that's a whole nother story all right so i'm gonna use a little bit of the tarte shape tape next to clean up under my brow and i know you guys are probably asking okay that was just one week okay what happened to the following week well i have an excuse for that too well these aren't really excuses this be real life holy field shit that be happening okay and then be going on the other thing that occurred is i did record i'm not gonna lie to you i did record i recorded probably three times in one weekend um videos the same look over and over again but i just did not like the quality of the the look i don't know my camera I struggle i feel like y'all know how um people have like body dysmorphia i feel like i have face dysmorphia right i don't know if that's a thing but i feel like i have it where i want to appear a certain type of way on camera and sometimes that shit just does not happen that way right and it could be the the placement of the lights it could be whatever the case may be i think i just go through that right and i and this is why i honestly tell y'all that this is not all that is cracked up to be and this right here can become extremely dangerous as a beauty influencer or whatever you want to call it i think that you have to be extremely careful, right? And the reason why I'm saying that you have to be careful is because you are constantly looking at yourself, constantly critiquing your work. And that in itself is super unhealthy, right? Because the more that you create content, the more that you look at yourself and the more that you find things that you don't like, especially if you're doing close up shots like me, right? So I am constantly looking at myself and um, I think this is how people kind of go overboard with surgeries and um, stuff like that. It's because they are constantly constantly finding imperfections that's why I say it's not healthy and I'm sorry I love you guys but at the same time I understand that sometimes you just need to take a break for your mental health the fact that I recorded the same look three times in one weekend and still didn't like the outcome of any of them girl it was time to take a break it was time to take a break get your mental together and then come back and regroup like I said for me the best thing that I could have done was just take a break and then come back and try it again you know um, there was a specific type of lighting setup that I wanted to go for in my videos, right? So if I couldn't get that, then girl, again, you sometimes it's okay to just step away, reassess the situation, and then come back to it later. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Now, some of those videos, were they postable? Yes. I don't know if that's a word, but we're going to use it as a word today. Yes, absolutely they were postable, but because I didn't like all oh, my hair in this one or I didn't like the way my eyebrow was shaped in that one. This is a tough ass position to be in. And that's why I say be careful when trying to become a quote unquote influencer or a quote unquote, um, what do you call that? Content creator. Be very careful with that because depending on what type of field you are in, um, and then I guess it's just like a personality trait as well because I am super OCD about certain shit. Not everything because I actually got clothes on the floor right now. But certain things in my life I am super OCD about. And so um, you become obsessed with little things. And, and I also feel like it, it really comes back to the way that society has been presenting beauty or um, the way of life nowadays. Alright, I'm going to use the Juvia's Place, the Rebel Honey Palette. I'm not going to do 
show you too much again because we about to hit the streets and I'm actually running a little bit late. But of course, I got to come and talk to y'all because that's what I do. I actually got up at uh, 5 o'clock this morning. No, 4. I got up at 4.30, made it to the gym by 5, left by 6. Girl, I am trying. I can't afford surgery, so we're going to have to try to get it the natural way. Anyway, I'm going to go in with that orange that's in the palette. They literally have an orange. Let me just show y'all because somebody's going to be like, I don't know which one. So this one right here, okay? This color right here is what I'm going to use. Um, and I'm just going to pack this up into like, I don't know. I guess this would be like my transition color. Y'all know, I don't know like the correct terminology for things. So we just, we just do stuff and hope for the best. Y'all know. Okay, so we're just going to start by packing this up in here or whatever, just to give me a nice little transition. I'm not blending it. I'm simply packing it up in there, right? But anyway, yeah, I think society, being on Instagram, being on YouTube, whatever your platform is, um, if, if it's TikTok, whatever it is, sometimes it can be um, extremely overwhelming to continue to see beautiful people because not everybody is going to show you the worst of their lives, right? So what you see is beautiful quality living right so you got people going to dubai and people going to bali and they live in a best life they not showing you how long it actually took them to get there they're not showing you them crawled up into a fetal position you know crying for a year prior to that that's just not what you see you see this amazing um lighting you see these beautiful people it's just it's a tough ass society i don't know if i'm explaining it right but it's hard as hell right and then you coming out the gate and feeling like damn my quality don't even measure up to their quality so then you go out here and you purchase other shit because you feel like okay let me get the same camera they got or the same ring light they got in order to get this same quality then the shit don't work then you find somebody else it's just a never-ending fucking cycle right even i fall victim to that shit even though i'm fucking confident mm, mm, mm. i fall victim to that shit i think everybody it's a psychological issue that it needs to be that's why i get on here and i'll be really talking to y'all about real life shit right i talk to y'all about real life shit because everything is not fucking perfect and people get people i can't tell you how many times people have been in my comments like i mean i think you overshare bitch i overshare because which i don't feel like i really overshare because y'all really don't know me like that y'all only know what i allow y'all to see but that's besides the point i do that because i know that there are people like me and it's like what what about the regular degular motherfuckers what about them what about the people who cannot get, get their camera to fucking work hello <laughs> what about them what about people who cannot get the lighting what about people who can't afford that 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 be my intent over here on my channel okay i can't speak on nobody else but i can just speak on my situation i've been here probably about two two three years on youtube i think two maybe three probably like right pre-pandemic like right before that hit yeah and it's 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 just now getting better you know so it's just it's a patience thing my channel will be considered for the people who are not perfect Bitch, I'm not perfect, okay? And we all not perfect, but some of us present as if we are, and that's okay. This is for the, the people who be having everyday struggles, okay? And if that just ain't you, that just ain't you, okay? But it's some people that be going through it. Anyway, I'm going to go in with, like, this little burgundy shade right here. I am done venting about that. All I'm telling y'all to do is just have patience, okay? Have patience with whatever it is that you do. Understand that it's going to take time. I mean, we do have some overnight celebrities and people who just achieve overnight, and that's okay. There's some people who can pick up a, a paintbrush right now and draw a work of art, and that's okay. But for the other <laughs> the other people who can't do it, like me, it's going to take some time. And, and I just I think that you should allow yourself a little bit of grace and a little bit of patience um, to make things happen. That's all I'm saying, okay? That, that's the end of that, all right? So that's where I was for the last two weeks, getting my fucking mental together. If I don't preach nothing else to y'all, I'm definitely going to preach mental health. Make sure you take care of you first. I know you guys probably want an update on my dating life. Child, it's almost non-existent. Every time I feel like I find somebody that I want to put on the roster, number one, they either do something fucking stupid to piss me off and then they get blocked or they just don't want to wait their damn turn listen as i told y'all in the beginning of the video i am not the type of girl that you're going to hear from every day it's just in my personality if you text me i'm not going to ignore you unless you've just been over texting 
but I am not the type of person that you're going to hear from every day, especially in my dating life, because I really don't want to form an attachment to nobody. Like, I'm just kind of free, you know, like, I'm just, I'm just doing whatever I do. I'm going to be dating you. I'm going to be dating probably five other guys. I'm just free right now. So I really don't want to text you every day. And it's like the men that I run into are they on one side of the spectrum or they on the other. Either they want a relationship or um, they just want to fuck. And it's like, damn, why well, can't have nobody meet me halfway in the middle? All right, I'm going to take a little bit of the Juvia's. This um, this is the Warrior palette. This shade right here. Let me show y'all what the top looks like. In case y'all want to pick it up. This one right here. Um, so I'm just going to take a little bit of that because I feel like with this color, you don't want to go in with the black, but you can kind of get brown to look a little bit black because y'all know I love a deep edge. It's just my thing. Um, but yeah, so I also find that guys are just having like too much of insecurity, especially when it comes to um, me verbalizing that I date other people. And the reason why I verbalize that is because girl, I do not want to end up on an episode of damn snapped. So I think when you lie about certain shit to people, you end up on fucking snap so no for me especially when it comes to me because i don't want to buy take my choice away choices are very important right you either choose to be here or you don't and i don't take anybody's choice away from them because i don't want them to take my choice away right so i'm very upfront with letting people know that hey i am dating other people you may hear from me today and probably don't hear from me again until friday okay and that just it is what it is not and and the rules apply to you as well right it's the same thing but i do not want to take your choice away so i let you know what is going to be up front so you can either decide whether you want to stay or whether you want to go i tell people up front like listen I'm be dating you. I'm be dating somebody else. And it's like men cannot handle half of the shit they put women through. Because the moment you tell somebody that or tell a man that you're dating somebody else, they're like, oh, oh, so for real, you're going to be dating other people and I'm just supposed to be buying you shit? You don't have to buy me nothing. You don't have to buy me nothing. You are not obligated. And I, I hate that. And I've had this conversation with probably two men. Just because you take me out to date on a date, sir, does not mean that you are obligated. This is a little bit of elf concealer. But it does not mean that I'm obligated to make sure that anytime you call, I got to answer your damn call or that I'm only, you know, just to you, I'm exclusively dating you. No, that's not what the hell that damn means, right? It just means that we went out on a date. If you can't afford, because I don't know, I don't, I ain't had nobody taking out on no, no steak, seafood type of dates. If you can't afford $20, $30 for um, a damn meal, then maybe you should not be fucking dating. And that goes for a woman as well, because you should always have enough in your damn pocketbook to cover your own food, just in case he get the tripping. Um, you should not be going out just to date people for food. And if you are, then I feel like that's, you need to be honest. Hey, I'm only going out just to date you for your food. Again, because girl, if you're not honest with people, you will end up on fucking snapped. Number one question that I get anytime a guy is like, you know, he acts like he's cool with me dating other people and let's be honest these men are dating other people too they fucking lying you're not gonna sit up here and tell me that we're both on a dating app and you're not dating anybody else stop it stop stop the fucking antics stop playing with me but um i entertain it or whatever and so they'd be like well i mean do you think eventually the will settle down and honestly again honest answers here I don't know. I don't know what the future holds, but I'm telling you that right now I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm just looking for a kick it buddy, not a sexual partner, a kick it buddy. We go out, we go to a couple concerts, we may do a jazz lounge, something like that. I just want to explore with somebody, you know, and if that's something that you can't do, then by all means, do what you got to do. And I'm not telling you to stop getting your rocks off with uh, Tasha that you still fuck with. Still fucking get your rocks off because that's who getting their rocks off me that's why i don't need you for sex you know what i'm saying because why would i mess up what i already have over here like if if i've taught this man for the last three years what it is that i like in the bedroom i'm not going to now try to to risk it all for you sir when you probably don't even know what i like so let me just stick to what i know over here you stick to what you know and if we decide to come together on those terms and that's again that's another conversation that needs to be had it's like as soon as you lay it out on those terms then men be like oh no i can't handle that but honestly those were your intentions in the beginning right to keep fucking me and fuck around with tasha and you know take me out but you expected me to just be exclusive to you because a lot of times when women date they are only exclusive to one person no <laughs> nope and don't get it twisted either because my ex we just had this conversation yesterday after a little whoopee i just told him yesterday like this don't change 
us being together because I feel like sometimes he don't be understanding, like, and I have to help him understand. Listen, sir, we we are not together. I don't care how many times we can have sex. We are still not together. And so if you see me out with somebody else, then just mind your business. And the, the same goes for me. If I see you out, I'm going to mind my business. You know what I'm saying? I might actually buy y'all a round of drinks. My friend has to do that. And it was so funny. But anyway, I might buy y'all a round of drinks and mind my, my business because we are not together. And I need you to understand that. Again, honesty is the best policy out here. Friends, like, you're not afraid of, this is a little bit of black I'm going in with. You're not afraid of somebody coming and showing their ass? No, because why would you show your ass? You only would show your ass if you were under the impression that me and you are together and you see me out with somebody if you see me out with somebody speak hey how you doing and keep it fucking moving there's no reason for you to show your ass we're not together and i feel like a lot of women a lot of things that we be going through if a man could just be honest with us and do not take our choices away from us we wouldn't be fucking going through it because i can't tell you how many women would actually stick around if you told them hey i'm gonna be with you i'm gonna pay all your bills but i'm gonna go out here and i'm gonna fuck other people it's some women that would stick around for that shit hell they stick around after they find out but you could save them so much heartache by just being real with them being real with your goddamn intentions and that's that'd be my thing if i'm if i'm out here dating just don't be real i'm gonna be super honest because you just never know but don't take my choice away that'd be the thing you know what i'm saying just don't don't take my choice away from me i'm going back in with the juvia's place palette this right here i'm going to take this and apply it to my lid at least i think i am i don't know how it's gonna turn out but we're gonna see we're gonna see but yeah don't take people's choices away from them you know be 100 percent honest i even feel like that in a marriage like if you're married to somebody and you feel like oh my goodness i want to step out again honesty is the best policy otherwise your, your ass is gonna end up on snap be honest don't let them walk in and find you hunched over fucking somebody no okay you want to be honest and let them know this is no longer satisfying me and i feel like we should probably fuck on other people but this is where the butt comes in you have to make sure that you are woman enough and you are grown enough to understand that whatever it is that you're asking for and whatever it is that you want to be upfront and honest about you need to make sure that you put your big girl drawers on because the shit is going to come back as well so if you want to see other people you want to fuck other people then you have to be open to allowing him to fuck other people right i just i don't believe in one-sided shit that's just me personally. I do not believe in one-sided shit. I believe in being open and honest about every fucking thing. If I ever get to a point where I say, you know what, I want to fuck something else, I'm going I'm to also give that option to you. I don't want to get divorced. I'm just saying I, I just need to fuck something else. But you also have the option to fuck something else. I feel like as long as you're not coming home and telling me, you know, she gets super wet. Like, I don't want to know the details. I'm not the type of person to know the details, but I also understand that what I do to you will be done to me. This is why I will never personally understand why people cry after getting caught cheating. That was a conscious decision. That was a conscious decision for you to go out here and have sex with somebody else, right? So what what are we crying for at this point? You knew that this would hurt the other person. You knew that there was an opportunity for you to lose them. But that that's where that selfish shit comes in. I don't like to be selfish. I'm selfish like with my food and stuff like that. But when it comes to like emotions and, and stuff like that, I'm not I'm not selfish. I give everybody the benefit of the doubt and I would hope for that same type of consideration when dealing with me. Now if I ever brought that to somebody and they said oh, well, I can't handle that or that's not for me, then we need to talk about separating, right? Because it's not fair for me to hold on to you um, and expect for you to just endure this and deal with this if that's not what you want to do, right? So if that's not what you want to do. You don't want to continue to endure the heartache that I'm about to put you through if it is heartache because, again, it's fair, it's fair game here. It's a fair playing field. If you decide you want to go out here and fuck down, fuck down, I don't care. If we both doing it, you know what I'm saying? Do it. But um, it's it's not fair for me to inflict that type of pain on you. If you cannot deal with it, I'm not going to do anything in secret. We need to just go ahead and discuss being done as a whole. But I don't know. I think my viewpoint on a lot of shit may be different from others. And that's just simply because I done been through some shit. I've seen some shit. Um, I've seen too many damn cases, especially on the news, of people ending up hurt behind a crime of passion because one person wanted to fucking 
keep it a secret. No, I'm not keeping nothing a secret because I want to be able to live to see tomorrow and ride the D again. Okay, so I'm going to be 100% honest all the way around. That's just me, though. Like, if you feel like you want to do shit, then you go ahead and do shit. But just understand that everything that is done in the dark will come to the light, whether that's 20 years from now, 30 years from now, tomorrow, a month, a year. It don't fucking matter. It's always going to come out. So it would be best that you just be honest up front. Y'all want to know what else has been a deal breaker? This is some NARS primer. I absolutely love NARS primers. I love NARS products. Jesus, I can't talk today. Um, but y'all know what else has been a deal breaker for for some men as well is me having a guy best friend i don't know why i feel like because they be doing shit with their best friends that they just can't handle me and my best friend being friends um and i've said it before and i'm gonna say it again as long as i have a place to lay my head i have a roof over my head my friend will also have a roof over his head and it's just it just is what it is okay what i'm not going to do is be one of those people and i don't like that because i've had it done to me before and it didn't make me feel good like it really pissed me the fuck off um especially when you're a friend to somebody before they get into a relationship and then they feel like both male and females they feel like they can't hang out with you the same way because now all of a sudden they in a relationship people like that it'll take the shit out of me um but anyway <laughs> He has been there for me. This man has provided for both me and my children when I didn't fucking have it. And I didn't ask him to get just sent shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am never going to give up a 12-year friendship because you feel insecure. I'm never going to give up a friendship, especially when that person was here prior to you. And I think that it is so unfair for people it, women and men to ask their spouse or the person they're dating to give up a friendship that was established before you all right this is a little bit of nars new caledonia i'm going in with now do i understand that not all friendships are strictly platonic and that things could have occurred prior to you yes that's a different story but if a friendship is strictly platonic and nothing has ever occurred for you to ask me to give up my friendship, especially, especially since I don't even know you. Like we just now in a talking phase and you talking about that's going to be a problem for you. Bitch, I don't care. I don't care. He not going nowhere. And when he come down here, he going to be staying right there on my couch under my roof. Okay. I feel like it's, it's only a issue again, if they have some type of sex prior or you know you know that there's something there then of course but for you to ask somebody to give up their friendship based on an insecurity that you have like you dead ass fucking wrong you dead ass fucking wrong i do not care i do not care like i would even invite if he was seriously dating somebody but because he's such a hoe i would even invite um his his girlfriend or his wife or whoever it may be down here to visit as well like it would the invite just wouldn't stop with him you know but again we have always just been friends i think one of the issues especially for men is because men know that they've had quote unquote friends that they fucked and so when it comes down to me saying um i have a friend they get insecure so you either fucked your friends or you were sexually attracted to your friends right and so that's why you have such an issue with me having a male friend see that's something on your part it's not something on my part right um i would also understand if i was to say well you no longer have access to me when he's down here like i'm not answering my phone you can't come over here anymore things like that right then i would totally understand but because that is not the case i don't get it the same access that my significant other had to me prior to my friend getting down here it wouldn't change so if you decided you want to do a pop-up by all means do a damn pop-up i don't care if you decided you wanted to spend the night by all means definitely you know, come and spend the night. But what I'm not going to do is go out of my way to make sure that you are secure. Nothing about me is going to change when he comes down here, right? So, um, that'd be my thing. And then the guy was like, well, it's your job to make sure that I'm secure. No, it's, it's, that's a personal thing. That's a personal thing. And if you are insecure, then I would definitely highly suggest going to counseling. But to ask me again to give up a 12 year friendship for somebody that I have known less than 24 fucking hours, you have lost your fucking mind. That's a red flag. And we no longer need to speak. I remember having a guy friend and I absolutely adored him, loved him, right? Like as a brother, like he was just really 
my friend. Oh my goodness, I did not want to use that. This is the e.l.f. Concealer Deep Cinnamon. I did not want to use this one. I actually wanted to use the Tarte Shape Tape because I did try and pick it up. So this one is Shape Tape Deep Honey. I'm going to try to go in and fix this shit. Um, but yeah, I remember having a guy friend and we were friends for about three or four years. And then he finally got into like a serious relationship with this girl he met online and she had like such an issue with me and i did not know why because i'm like when i had my housewoman party i invited not just him both of them i invited both of them um i was more than nice and courteous to her when he was around me i never was like oh don't answer your phone because it's her never i will always be like pick up your goddamn phone because again we're not doing shit if it the most we was probably doing was mounting the fucking tv like it really wasn't anything special right um, I knew I didn't have feelings for, for him or anything like that. So I didn't see what the damn problem was. Anyway, she made such a big deal. Like anytime we would hang out. So the, um, hangout started to be less and less. And I was like, okay, I mean, I understand he's in a relationship, whatever. Cool. I'm not tripping off of it. But, um, like I said, this man, we would go to each other's kids soccer games and, like, he was genuinely a good friend. He was going to take my daughter to the, the daddy-daughter dance because at the time, like, I wasn't dating anybody. All of this, right? And so, um, she made it clear that she didn't want him hanging out with me. And I remember him taking me out to dinner. And with the kids, he had his daughter and I had my, um, my kids. And I just remember the dinner being, like, so awkward. I can't explain it, but it was, like, so awkward y'all and him basically insinuating like you know she's moving down here or whatever and he didn't say it but I knew what he meant like basically this is gonna be the last time we we ever gonna be able to hang out and I remember being so hurt behind that because it was like y'all have to understand that my friendships I take them as family so if I call you a friend I consider you as family because I don't have a lot of family so for you to basically throw away three four years of friendship because you got into a relationship with a bitch who feels insecure about me like that's real fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Especially when I try to incorporate her as much as I incorporated you into this. And I know what y'all probably thinking. Well, was you calling his phone all the time tonight? No, I did not. I wasn't calling him. Like we, again, I told y'all the type of friend I am. Like we would just probably link up, go out to drink, something like that. And then we would both go home at the end of the night. We would go to each other's kids' soccer games and stuff like that. But it was never anything more. And so when I tell y'all, like, to this, to this day, to this day, I'm still pissed off about that shit. Because I'm like, how dare you let a bitch that you've known less than me come between our friendship? And I can understand if I wasn't trying to incorporate her or I was making her feel less than or I was making her feel left out or I was telling her or uh, telling him, don't answer her calls. Like, it was a never anything catty. So I really didn't fucking understand. I think the bitch was just insecure with me as a woman, right? And I, I can't help the way I look. But I'm not, like, when I say it's nothing there, it's absolutely nothing there. What I got to lie for? I just told you I would be honest with my husband if I decided to cheat. I told you. I told you all this. I have no reason to fucking lie. So, it just, it really hurt my feelings. I cannot find my, um, my brush that I would normally do this with. So, we're just going to have to use this. I normally use, like, the little pad thing or whatever. This right here is some Laura Mercier in the shade. Honey, y'all know how much I love my Laura. Girl. I fucking love Laura. I love Laura so much. I actually need to go Rhea because, girl, I am empty. I am so empty. I'm scared to even tip it because I'm like, even a little bit of powder that comes out, I'm going to be upset. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments. I just, I don't know. My take on that is completely different. And my friend, um, she sides with the, the girl. She's like, I mean, but if she was insecure about it, she got to let that go for the sake of the relationship no mm -mm. I don't feel like he needs to let go of a friendship because I'm insecure about it especially if he's taking me around you know and then I can understand like again if we were being secretive now if he has um a best friend that you ain't never met and then when y'all do get around each other it's very awkward and it's very weird then of course you like mm, is that really your best friend you know 
But if she's done everything in her power to make you feel comfortable, girl, that's on you. I wouldn't want to be with nobody that's trying to isolate me or who dictates who I can and cannot be around. I just don't. Now, if the friend came after y'all were married, after y'all were in a relationship, then of course, by all means, then he definitely needs to cut that off, especially if it makes you feel some type of way. But if the friendship was established prior to you getting there, I don't see why. And you know what I really don't understand is that men will keep a man friend around that your girl can't fucking stand she cannot fucking stand his ass because he didn't had you out in the strip club you weren't supposed to be he didn't pay for a damn lap dance and you will not cut this man off but when it comes to a woman then it's something different even the woman you would allow him to continue to go out with this man while he out here the the best friend man keeps putting him in you know different situations that could really Fuck with your relationship and you still stick by that nigga. But when it comes to him having a female friend, then that's the last straw for you. I don't be understanding. Okay, guys. What do we always go in with? The freaking one size. Okay, we're going to use the first top two colors to contour my face. And I already have it kind of like already, I don't know, carved out. Because I did put like a little bit of almond down here. So it's kind of already carved out. I'm just going in and just really making sure that it's prominent, that you can see it. So just to add more of a pop of color to this look, I am going to add a little bit of this pencil. This pencil is from LA Girl Pro Conceal. Let me tell you something. This pencil has been so good that even when I line like the top of my lids with this, it's amazing, right? But I'm only going to do the bottom today. Um, and then I'm going to go back to Ulta and get some more. When I was at Ulta, I seen some uh, Juvia's as well. Oh my goodness, Juvia's look like she done made a little come up because that stuff definitely had me wanting to buy it. The face powders and stuff. I mean, she's always been that girl, but like, as far as like the foundation, y'all know I didn't really care for the foundation previously. Y'all were so upset. It's so right. No shit, Sherlock. Um, I still didn't care for the consistency of it, but the new pressed powder she got when I was in the store, the presentation, the marketing, everything is definitely on point with it definitely okay so let's go ahead and finish up this look i put on lashes and i thought about it i was like i want to do some curls in my hair and then i was like no because we're probably gonna be walking outside at the outlet all day today and it just wouldn't make no sense for me to be extra and do that so i'm not um so i'm just gonna leave it the way it is blend out all my under eye my nose anywhere that i baked um, and I have extra powder. We're going to go ahead and blend all of that out. If you guys have not gotten your Fenty powders, they are so useful for so many things. Like I actually used them as eyeshadow last week. Fucking phenomenal. I love Fenty powders. They're just everything. Okay. I'm going to add like a little bit of blush just to kind of brighten up my cheeks a little bit. Oh my goodness. That's too much. You see how much that is? Like Jesus, Louise, she is pigmented. Jesus. Just to kind of bring in a little bit more color. All right, so now we're going to move on to lips. And I'm going to be using my MAC Chestnut um, to line my lips here. I used to hate this because I felt like it had like a red undertone. But I guess it just kind of depends on how you use it. Because it's really pretty. It just, it does to me have like a plum under top though but it's not bad all right i'm gonna use a little bit of my nubian sand right here in the center i'm gonna add just like a little bit of the elf and this is in the shade sparkling rose i would normally use i think it's called pink cosmo but i don't have any so I'm just going to use this just to kind of brighten up my lips a little bit. Because like I feel like it's giving like a very mauve look, which is okay. But I mean, I just need like a little bit more pink in there. All right, guys. So here we are. This is the finished look. When I tell you guys I'm getting ready to cut this hair, I'm getting ready to cut this hair. The company sent me a 24 inch, but literally it feels as though it is a 30 inch. How you guys are rocking 30 inch bust downs, I will never know. It is just all in the way. It's under my arms. And when I go to sit down, it's it's there. It's just, 
it's a mess and I don't like it okay but remember what I said if you guys need a mental break take a mental break because your mental health is so important you guys um, and as soon as I get my lighting set up the way that I want it to and I feel like the quality and the presentation is there I'll be more than help <laughs> I will be more than happy to share tips and, and stuff that I learned along the way because it's hard lighting as a brown skinned woman, ain't it? Anyway, I gotta go because I'm already running late. You guys know this. I am going to try to vlog today. I actually have my Sony camera charging so we can go ahead and vlog as well. But I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time.